Hello, my name is Marcus William Morris, and I'm the author of Lack in the Art of Deprogramming. Today, we'll be reading chapter five, and it is titled, Let's Go Find It Really Quick. The Baby's First Cry. So what has come down in this chapter is, I tried to explain what does the infant, the baby, has to do with lack? So, as human beings, we're all lacking something. We all need something. So, from birth, I go on to explain how an infant will express itself and express that lack that it needs through crying. Because that's the only way it knows how to say, I need something. Fill my void. Fill my lack. Mother, father, I need milk. I need comfort. I need self, I need soothing because as a baby, it, it does not yet know how to self soothe. It's getting there, but as the youngest stages in infancy, you will need a pacifier, or you need your mother to kind of calm you down, or you need your, your mother or father to hold you, maybe give you a little rock or a shake, or uh, sing your lullaby, or even um, put some chimes above your crib or stroller, and that would kind of soothe you self-soothe as you grow up you learn to self-soothe so you instead of needing a uh, a mother to rock you you may opt for a cigarette <laughs> or a vape or a beer um and in this book here i i i, I some of the words i see here instead of being satisfied by, by mother's milk that same individual may feel the need to indulge in a lobster dinner while an infant may want to suck on a pacifier upon growing up, require a beer or some wine to fill that same niche, the self-soothing. An infant seeks comfort and happiness. As an adult, you continue to find comfort and satisfaction. Adults are nothing but big babies. The only thing that has changed here is the scale, a complexity of their being and needs. Another thing I go into see in this chapter is that there is no experience without feeling. If you disagree, go and test yourself. Try not to feel or to feel nothing. Is it possible? Did you try? Try right now to feel nothing. Now, answer the question. When you tried not to feel something, did you feel something? I think in Elise, you're feeling that thought that told you, try not to feel something. Therefore, you still felt at least that. That thought, that drive that said, try not to feel something. So it's always something going on in your head. Isn't that interesting? It's almost impossible to drive your thoughts to complete nothingness, emptiness, a void. Even in nothingness, you still feel that nothingness. Nothingness is, in a way, can be described as a feeling. That lack is also a feeling. So children still have their innocence because they haven't gained the knowledge of good and evil. It's like, um, you most likely eat from the tree of knowledge of good and evil when you're a child and then Oh, as you grow, and then uh, as you grow into knowing more and more of that knowledge, that when you lose your innocence, because you're no longer ignorant of what is good and what is bad. Um, there's like the taste of proverbial apple designed by society we inhabit. Um, okay, also, As long as you remember your trauma, this is about trauma and how you kind of could overcome trauma by doing like a shadow work. So as long as, you, as long as you remember your trauma, your trauma is still affecting you. So how do you, I mean, it's, I can say you see you get rid of trauma, but how do you uh, kind of 
like steer your trauma in a, or control your trauma in a way that it affects you less so it doesn't handicap you for the rest of your life with fear and doubt and insecurities um what you would do is you kind of think back to what caused your trauma and you acknowledge that it's there and you kind of figure out what about it is causing you to feel feelings of lack or in a way it's handicapping you and you try to i can't say there's a one size fix all kind of thing going on there but you have to embrace part of that self that that trauma had damaged and you you send that part of yourself love and understanding and you forgive yourself for feeling that trauma um a lot of that traumatic work has to be something that you as a person can only fix because that is between you and your traumatic experience i cannot necessarily give you as a disclaimer i cannot give you information on how to fix your trauma per se but i could lead you there and i could steer you in a way where you could kind of encounter it and look it in the face and not allow in, in a way where it doesn't allow you to feel handicapped from it anymore but the baby first cry is synonymous with lack becoming self-aware of your thoughts is the only way to take control of them and i really do believe that you have to be aware of your thoughts so that you can control what's going on through your head and that's about all for this session for chapter five the baby's first cry i will see you in chapter six thank you so much for watching Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.